Hi, this is Vaughan in Westcote Bell Pottery on the shore of Nova Scotia, the south shore, just south of Bridgewater, uh, westcotebellpottery.ca. This is a quick follow-up video, maybe a minute or two long, on the mugs that I did uh, with the weights that you can see in the picture. Um, and these are the finished mugs, and you can watch a video of me carving one of these mugs on an earlier date. Uh, but this shows you the weights in grams, ounces, and the amount of liquid. Um, I didn't convert it to pints, but you know, there's about 500 mil to a pint. Um, it's approximate there, so 250 mil would be about half a pint, and so on. Um, so in my video, I said that my largest weight of clay would probably give me at least a pint, and it, it easily did. Um, so this was with B-Mix clay, um, and uh, this will tell you when you get a customer who comes to you and says, can you give me a coffee mug that measures exactly half a cup, or in milliliters, of course, you can, uh, you know, you can refer to this, because I have struggled with this for years, when somebody wants me to give them an exact measurement, it's easy, because you just have you know, inches or centimeters and you can make it that wide and that tall. But when they say they want a half a cup or a two thirds of a cup or something, you know, it's really tough. So there it is. West Coat Bell Pottery. How to make a mug of an exact size and volume of liquid. Alrighty. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first video and this is a quick follow up. Less than two minutes. So Vaughn Smith, westcoatbellpottery.ca. Have a great Christmas and enjoy the winter months coming up. I'll post a bunch of videos. I've had some requests, so I'll get to those too. Alrighty, thank you very much. Bye-bye.